Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Patrick from Mercedes-Benz Burlington. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I think you know why you're here if you read the tagline. This is the 2024 S63 e-Performance. It's one of our most anticipated cars of the year for me and for many clients. Let's jump right in and see what this new model has to offer. So with the new S63 e-Performance, I know a lot of people are wondering, what is the power? So we're gonna jump into that because there's very many questions that the people want answers for. We have questions like, is it a plug-in hybrid or a mild hybrid? Is it still a V8 performance engine? Is it still a luxury model? Is it, can you drive on full electric? Can you drive on full sport plus? The answer to all those questions is yes, but let me tell you why. I actually have the previous um, styled, we'll call it, S class behind me. This is a 2024 as well, but it's a 580. And it came out a few years ago go with that styling package. The reason I have it next to this one is just to contrast the very large differences you can get in the S63. So this one is a lot of different items um, spec'd into it. So it's an addition one, I'll show you why. It's the new 2024 AMG package. So this is the new grill. It's got new exhaust, new wheel options, um, but the car looks a lot different than the S580. Let's look at the design and then get into the power. As you probably noticed by now, this S63 is the gray, so this is the Alpine gray. Many colors for the S63, a lot of them are shared characteristics from the S-Class in general, so you can get many metallic options and a few flat options that actually look really cool as well. Uh, so there's a matte black finish, and I like the Alpine gray. I feel like we're seeing it a lot more on a lot of the Mercedes-Benz and Mercedes-AMG products, so I hope I don't get bored of seeing it, but so far I absolutely love the spec because you don't see S-Classes in general in many other colors than black. So I like having the Alpine gray here. It looks really sharp. When you look at the front grille, this is probably the largest um, AMG grille I've seen. So you still have the lines going down through the center of the vehicle. What I like about the S63 is because you have the nice big symbol here, they've actually put the uh, front camera up top. On the regular S-Class, there's a radar um, piece here, but the camera's kind of sitting right in the middle. Don't absolutely love that. This one has like a brushed chrome. If you look carefully, it's not like a high gloss chrome or black. It's almost like a gunmetal chrome. And there's two spots that you'll see the new AMG badge. One is right here over my heart and the other one is right here. So this is the first S class with the AMG badge on the front. Fun fact about the S-Class models, many cars in general, you pull the hood latch once and it opens up or it releases and there's a button on the under carriage of the hood. For S-Class models, you actually have to pop the hood release twice. So the first one, it looks like the hood's released, but if I go to pull that up, it actually isn't released yet. I pull it again and that actually releases the hood. Let's take a closer look. I've got to give a quick shout out to Dominic. Everything looks in order. I think he built it properly. So everyone wants to know, what are the power numbers? So the figures are actually a combined figure because you still have a V8 motor. That does 603 horsepower, but that's not where we stop because we have 188 extra horsepower on a rear axle motor. Combined, you get 791 horsepower and over 1,000 for torque. So you're 1,055 foot-pound torque. That's the most I've ever heard for an S-Class in general. So big numbers when you combine them together and it is a plug-in hybrid. So I'll show you on the inside how that actually works, but you can drive this in full electric mode for the first time ever as well. Okay, so the changes don't stop on the back of the vehicle. Really, really aggressive rear end on this car. You have the same taillights that are on the S-Class models, but they've done this for the first time. I haven't seen this before, where you actually have red behind the S63 badging. They didn't put it on the AMG side though. I kind of think this would look really aggressive with the red behind it. Um, and I'm not sure if that's gonna be on all the S63s. We're gonna have to look that up and find out or if it's only gonna be because this is an edition one because the theme of the edition one for this vehicle is all red accents. You have the aggressive um, exhaust on the bottom. So two on each side, sounds really menacing which we'll show you in a second. And you still have decent trunk space, but it actually is smaller than the previous S-Class because you have that big electric motor giving you all that horsepower underneath. You do have to forfeit a little bit of the trunk space. You get the car cover. You actually have, it's still sealed because it's an edition one, but you have the red AMG 
badging for the uh, carpets as well. It goes nice and deep, but you might have to take out your driver if you're going to put a set of clubs in the back. Keeping the trend going of all of the uh, like brushed chrome style, you have it in the inlay of the wheel as well. So that's the AMG forged rim. Nice big red AMG brakes on this. So the trend is kind of like that brushed chrome style and red on this vehicle. I really like that they didn't do just the full matte black. That is still my favorite wheel, but I like having a little bit of a chrome accent, especially on something like a luxury sedan like the S is. You'll see the V8 by turbo here, and then you'll see the e-performance badge underneath. They've actually changed that out from the uh, formatic, but it is still a formatic drive system. They just don't have the badging on uh, the side of the vehicle anymore. Coming across from the regular S-Class, you do also have these pop-out handles. So you brush your hand across it, it illuminates too, which looks really sharp at night, and then you're inside. Yeah, I think this will work for me. I'll take it. Uh, this is the Edition 1, so you can actually see the S63 Edition 1 right here on the center console. Center console is still in that piano black. Uh, but like I said on the outside of the vehicle, the theme of this Edition 1 is red accents. You have red in the illuminated door sill, red stitching on this new stitch pattern that I haven't seen. So this is the new diamond stitch pattern for the S63. You have the AMG branding here. You also have, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me at first, but this carbon fiber trim actually has a red tone in it. So this is what we're going to call like a red tone carbon fiber. Looks really, really good with the red ambient light. So you still have all the ambient light systems in here as well. Everything has come across from the regular S-Class in terms of the infotainment screens, the driver cluster screen, but an all new steering wheel to go in line with all of our AMG um, vehicles. So this is the AMG performance steering wheel with the dials on the control. And you have the Burmeister high-end sound system in this. So you can actually see the ambient light inside the speakers as well. When you turn on the car, this actually comes out for you. I think that the car in the electric mode would just feel like a regular S-Class because it's still very luxurious in here. It still feels like a really quiet and luxurious S-Class. But when you start this car in that full Sport Plus mode, you still hear the rumble. Yeah, I know I said this will work when I was in the front, but this would also work. Unfortunately, I don't have a driver. This has most of the rear seating packaging. So you can get one where you actually have a little bit more of an extension on the bottom of the seat, but this still has all of the other features. So you've got a nice cushion for your neck. So you have the neck pillow on both sides. I'm sitting behind the driver, but on the passenger side, you also have the heel rest. So you can actually have that seat fold forward, have the heel rest come out, and just have your feet raised a little bit for your ultimate relaxation position. You have full control from the back for the passenger. So of course you have the heated and cooling seats with memory. You also can control your roller sun blinds on the back window and on both the side rear windows, and you can control the uh, rear sunroof. So you can control this sunshade. You can't control the front one, that's for the driver, but you can really darken it in here if you wanted to take a quick nap or if you were just doing something on your computer. Uh, once installed, you'll have the control screen here that actually controls the same thing that's on the uh, center display on the front, or you have it through here so you can actually access Mercedes Me, your navigation information, and everything on your screen here. And what's nice about these rear screens is, if you look down here and I open this up, you've got two USB-C inputs, but you also have two HDMI inputs. So that's important because you can actually run two separate HDMI platforms through both screens at the same time. The Burmeister high-end sound system comes throughout the rear seating as well in the ceiling for a really, really good sound system. And you have that red chrome from the Edition 1 going through the door with the red stitch pattern, and you actually have it on the back of the seats as well. They really haven't missed a beat on the design for the S63 at all. The actual displays are the same as the S580, but I did notice a few changes on the uh, S63 e-performance. The first thing I noticed is the actual charge icon is different. So it looks like the uh, charger, the level two charger that you actually plug in. When you click into that, that just shows your charging information. And if you were plugged in, it would show those items as well. I also have all my controls for the AMG in here in terms of the energy flow, the drive and the vehicle, but also for the first time, I haven't seen this before, there's multiple dynamic selects. So I actually have seven different modes to choose from. I have Sport Plus, which is gonna give you the loud exhaust, the performance driving, um, tighten up the suspension for performance dynamics. I have the Sport, which is a little bit lighter of that if you're on the highway or you don't necessarily need a full race mode. I have the electric mode, which is gonna allow you to drive in 
full electric mode. I also have battery hold, which is going to run your engine. More of a comfort mode, so you drive normally, uh, but it will not use that battery hybrid power at all. Individual allows you to go through the different settings. So you can actually pick what you want in terms of your drive, engine, you can pick your suspension, and you can pick your AMG Dynamics, all custom. And that indiv individual mode is for you to um, select yourself. You have slippery mode because it is still a full luxury sedan. So you can drive this in the winter, no problem. You do have a formatic drive system on it as well. And then last but not least, you have the comfort mode, which is on all of our Mercedes-Benz vehicles. So tons of different drive modes to choose from. It really is the most versatile uh, sedan because you can do all of the above in one vehicle. So something that's different from this to the regular S580 or some of our other Mercedes-Benz models is you have the charger on this side, so that opens up nice and easy. But because you actually have a full engine as well, you have the fuel on the other side. On most Mercedes-Benz models in general, you unlock the car, you press it, it pops open. But for safety reasons, you can't accidentally have that pop open when you're charging the vehicle. So on this model, you actually have a hidden little button on the inside of the driver's side door. You pull, it flashes at you to let you know it's on a delay, and then it pops that right open for you. What do you guys think of the S63 e Performance? I really like it. I think it's gonna answer a lot of questions. Uh, we have some allocation available, so if you are interested in the spec of this car, we're gonna actually put in the description the design of this specific edition one, but we have allocation available for the regular S63 as well. Get in touch with us at Mercedes-Benz Burlington. I'm Patrick, your AMG specialist. I have more information for you that I can send you, and I know what you're thinking. Right before we go, let's light it up.